Hello, everyone. Welcome to this session, and thank you for tuning in. Today, we are going to introduce you to a new way of interacting with Cisco Meraki networks and show you a live demo. But first of all, let me introduce myself. My name is Andre, and I'm a network automation consultant at Nexivity. I have spent a large part of my career in system integration and telecommunication industries, designing, deploying, and configuring corporate network infrastructure solutions. In 2019, I joined Cisco Meraki, and I was fascinated about how drastically the power of software is changing the networking industry. Nowadays, I'm helping organizations build, transform, and automate their network and cloud infrastructure using the power of programming and DevOps mindset. During my time at Meraki, I really enjoyed solving real-world problems and building applications using Meraki dashboard APIs. We are going to present to you one of the applications which I worked on together with my ex-colleague Eduardo. Eduardo, over to you. Hello, everyone. Thank you very much for turning in. My name is Eduardo, and I've been working with networking for around 14 years. I have started my network career in an operations and support department. When I moved overseas, I had the chance to work with a project-oriented company designing and deploying computer networks. In 2019, I joined Cisco Meraki, and to me, it was a comeback to my roots, solving ongoing issues at a daily rate. What really fascinates me in this role is how exposed you are to the newest technologies and the constant challenge to keep it up with the face-paced environments that you are. If there is one thing that I can complain about at all, it is being born. Now, let me briefly introduce you to Cisco Meraki if you have not had the chance to work with it. Cisco Meraki is the world's leading cloud management platform for a huge variety of technologies, such as SD1, networking, wireless, smart cameras, and sensors. All of these products are available to you through a single pane of glass called Meraki Dashboard. From day one, this platform has been developed with simplicity for the end user and automation in mind. Regardless of your company or your infrastructure size, it allows users to control a large corporate network through an easy to use and intuitive portal where a lot of complex and bulky operations such as firmware upgrades at scale are fully automated. However, Meraki does not limit the automation to their platform only. With its API-first approach, it opens up a programming interface with a very rich collection of endpoints to everyone. As a result, organizations could build their own end-to-end -end automation flow and link up Meraki with their internal systems such as incident management, monitoring platforms, and many, many more. Now, let me give you a short story, and actually that was what brought us here today. When Andres and my paths crossed at Meraki, we quickly found out that we have something common, as we both had passion for automating and simplifying everything. I like to gather with friends, and when this happens, I want to provide the best experience for my guests, including reliable and easy-to-access internet connection. Knowing the importance of having segregated access for guests, my dilemma was, I wanted to have a secure network, but as I didn't use it very often, I kept forgetting the guest SSID pre-share key. To overcome this, having the guest network segregated by different broadcast domains and with strict fire rules in place, I was confident enough to leave the guest SSID open. However, I didn't want my neighbors consuming my bandwidth all the time. And to not become a free Wi-Fi provider for my neighbors, I would have to enable the SSID on demand. And as much as I love the dashboard, I would rather continue to chatting with my guests without the need to interrupt the conversation, just to log in into the dashboard and enable the SSID. Exactly. Instead of logging in into the dashboard or making an API call, what if you could just say, hey, Google, can you make changes to my Meraki network? 
Yes, absolutely. Just ask me, hey Google, talk to my home network. Well, looks like it's possible. Let me show you how it works. Hey Google, talk to my home network. All right, here's the test version of my home network. Hello, Andre. I am all ears. What would you like me to do? Switch on my guest Wi-Fi, please. Guest Wi-Fi is enabled. How many devices are currently connected to my network? The number of currently connected clients is two. Are there any issues on my network? Here is your summary. Configuration issues. One. Connectivity issues. One. I need to focus on the presentation right now. Can you apply a no social media profile to my mobile phone? No social media group policy have been applied. Enjoy working without any distractions. Thank you, Google. Cheers, mate. So let's take a closer look at what has just happened. When we asked Google to enable our guest Wi-Fi, an API call was sent to Meraki dashboard to enable guest SSID. So, and if we refresh this page, we can see the status of guest SSID. So yeah, it is enabled indeed. The second question that we asked was a number of clients currently connected to the network, and Google said there are two clients. So as you can see, there are two clients at the moment connected. And later in the conversation, we asked to uh, apply a group policy, no social media, to the mobile phone. And as you can see, this has been done. Another question was, how many issues are there uh, at the moment? And Google briefed us on the current situation. So there is one connectivity issue and one configuration issue. So this information has been fetched from Alert Hub, which is a recent feature that Meraki introduced. So you can see here that Meraki live up to their API first principle because this API endpoint became available shortly after the Alert Hub feature was introduced. So it just shows the high speed of the development. And uh, since we made two changes, we can verify those changes in the change log. Yeah, as you can see, uh, both SSID was enabled and the group policy has been applied via API. So we can clearly see um, this information in the change log. The next use case needs a bit of a background because it's solving a big pain for me. I have a couple of parking options near my house. One of them is an underground parking, which has a dedicated lot for my car, but it's a bit further away from the house. Another one is on the street side, just in front of the house. And I personally prefer parking on the street, especially for a short period of time. However, it's a shared space. It's not always available. So if I knew parking availability while driving back home, it would save me so much time. And this is where the Meraki MV smart camera comes into play. We're going to be using a vehicle detection technology to find out how many cars are already parked on the street. Generally, there is a room for seven cars there. So we will ask Google how many spots are left. Let me play a short video to demonstrate this. Hey, Google, talk to my home network. OK. Here's the test version of my home network. Hello, Andre. I am all ears. What would you like me to do? Is there any parking available? The number of available car slots at the moment is three. Thank you, Google. You're very welcome. And if we look at the camera footage taken at that time, we can clearly see that there are four cars already parked there. So since there, there is a room for seven cars, Google Assistant did a simple math and returned a, a number of slots available, which was three. We've been using a mixture of extremely powerful and complex technologies powered by machine learning and AI easily. And it makes our everyday life so much simpler. Now, this is just a handful of examples of how you can leverage rich API endpoints 
In order to get any information from the dashboard or even make changes to your network. Now let's dive in into a technical implementation of this automation flow. But before we do this, uh, I just would like to point out that this use case is meant for practicing and learning purposes only. It's not recommended to use this solution in your critical production environment simply due to the level of security that voice assistants could offer at present. However, it's a great opportunity to get familiar with the APIs, experiment and get inspired. So this solution consists of two main parts. Google Actions Console, which we are using to configure and program the conversation flow with Google Assistant. And the second part is Meraki Dashboard API, which enables us to interact with Meraki products programmatically. Let's break down the automation flow. When the user asks Google to talk to my home network, it triggers the main invocation and we can hear their response as a confirmation. Then it is transitioning to something called a scene. And you can think of a scene as an interactive voice menu in a call center environment. When you hear a pre-recorded message and you choose your options by pressing buttons one, two, or three, etc. But in our case, instead of pressing those buttons, we will just give our Google Assistant commands. We supplied uh, Google Assistant with a variety of training phrases because we can ask about the same thing differently. For example, we could use a synonym of enable and we could say something like switch on guest Wi-Fi or turn on guest Wi-Fi. However, if we do not say a phrase exactly, Google still should be able to understand us because of the natural language processing technology behind it. So once Google understood our query, it matches the query to a particular intent. An intent could be a change request or it could be an information request. And we're coming closer to the coding itself. Intents go hand in hand with handlers, which essentially act as functions. And we're using Google Functions, which is part of the Google Suite, as a fulfillment platform. Although it's a paid service, the first 2 million invocations per month are free, which should be more than enough for our particular use case. So Google function executes our code. It sends an API call to the Meraki dashboard. And then we're going to get a response from the dashboard. And we are seeing a JSON data structure in response, which we need to parse and derive the information from it. So because we get the rich information about all the clients, for instance, when we ask for a number of clients connected, um, we will get the information such as MAC address, device type, and so on but we're only interested in the number of devices that are currently online. So we should process this data accordingly. Then we can convert this data into a plain text, which in turn, Google Assistant will convert into speech. So the story goes full circle and we can hear the response from Google. Let's have a glance look at Google Actions Console where the conversational part is configured. Even the user interface reminds of a top-down type of flow. When we invoke our application, then we jump onto a scene, which has a set of pre-configured intents. Each intent has a corresponding handler, which is a piece of code that is going to be executed by our fulfillment service upon request. Google Actions is using Node.js as a programming language, and I understand that it might not be the first language of your choice, but do not worry. Meraki have got you covered. There is a very detailed documentation available to you at developer.cisco.com, which contains not only a full list of available API endpoints and sample responses, it also includes code snippets for different programming languages, including Node.js, which you can just copy and paste to create your own handler. And that's it. Our Google Assistant is ready to answer any questions about our network or make the changes. For a step-by-step -step guide, please check out this article where you can find screenshots as well as the code samples. And if you still do not have any Meraki equipment to play with, you can get one MR access point for free with a one-year license. All you need to do is to register for one of the webinars, watch it and learn more about Meraki and get your free gear. DevOps has taken the world by the storm and this trend continues to accelerate. Its positive impact is seen throughout the whole life cycle of network infrastructure. 
more and more companies nowadays transition to agile, flexible, and automated infrastructure solutions. I hope that today's session and demo gave you an idea that automation use cases are only limited by one's imagination. And we would like to thank you for joining this session and enjoy the rest of the event.